All right, get ready, Southern Virginia. Roll up your sleeves, Richmond men. They're cooking oh, the 10th watch out. annual Saute and Sizzle event coming up this Saturday. Lots of fun ahead. That's right. Earlier, Marcel Wilson, who's part of the event and thinks he's going to win again this year. Oh, he created, threw down the gauntlet. That he sure did. He created his shredded barbecue chicken sliders. They were Bill Bevins approved. And now Dr. Stacy Epps has chili on the Virginia This Morning menu. It's one of my favorites. Let's jump right in. Dr. Right. Epps, great Thank to see you. Thanks you for coming too. in. Thank you. Um, if you want to stir that yeah. around a little bit so it doesn't do get too do brown. It. Dr. So, Epps, you're very familiar with, uh, with chili. Yes. Last year, you made a lot of chili. I made about 10 gallons of chili. 10 gallons. Year, so, uh, I did not make chili again until right before <laughs> this event. Um, <laughs> even though people ask me and ask me, I, I just couldn't do chili it. Chili to last, yes. Chili to last. Okay, uh, so where do we begin? So basically, um, you brown the little meat. I usually use uh, sirloin. Um, it's got better flavor, I think, and it has less fat, so it's a little healthier. So everybody thinks of chili as being heavy and not healthy. But if you look, we have a lot of fresh vegetables that we put in there, and I think that counterbalances the little bit of meat. Yeah. Also, you can adjust it. People do different things. People will use different meats. You can use um, turkey. You can use chicken if you want. You can uh, use chorizo if you want to do something mm -hmm. more spicy. So you just make it uh, make it your own. You could Fantastic. go bananas and just not put any meat in it at all. Exactly. And basically a veggie, you know, a you veggie could, version. Exactly. You could have a veggie version. Um, you know, and chili's one of those weird things in that there are people who don't think beans belong in chili. There are people mm -hmm. that don't think tomatoes belong in chili, but this is kind of a riff on what my mother used to do when I was a kid. Oh, so okay. I just kind of added to it. Let's do it. How's, uh, how's Jess doing over there? With I the... think uh, that looks good. Well, actually, okay. we can turn that probably down turn a little it. bit. Okay. Let it do its thing. Let it do relax. its thing. I mean, it okay. is a saute and sizzle event, so you know, <laughs> you gotta you gotta have a little sizzle. sizzle in Come there. on. Exactly. So, all right, what do we get with this? So, first, we're going to put a little garlic in, and I just use, I think the more garlic, the better. So we got some garlic, and if you want to throw in some onions, that onions. would be great. How much onions would you uh, say? Just as many as you want. I use white onions, yellow onions, and red onions, because they all have different flavors. Oh, yeah. Let's go. And yeah, there you go. Uh, and see, that's a great tip. I just love looking at different chili recipes, because everybody has their own. Right. And it's neat to see what all is in different versions. And, and that's what you do. And so I get the onions going, and you want them to get kind of translucent. But while they're cooking, I actually throw in the peppers. And again, I use Whoa. a different combination, right? I've got green, I've got red, I've got... Uh, orange and yellow because again they have different layers of sweetness. Is it true you add color to your menu and what you eat and it's more healthy? Oh yes, I, exactly because think of all of the bright things. Um, th our vegetables are fruits. They're all brightly colored foods and those are better for you. Um, we just heat this up together mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. let that sizzle. And as this is cooking down you might want to stir it a little bit. Okay, let's and do this. We just let that cook. Let get them soften a little bit. Let them soften and get aromatic. Thing. Now, we've given you a, a, a super challenge today, Chef. The mm. smallest pan possible for your <laughs> giant vat of chili. But, you know, hey, We're that's, make it that's work. part of the fun here. But, but that, that's also the interesting thing about chili, right? You can make as much or as little as you want. You know, um, usually at home I have a huge stock pot and I mm -hmm. make a huge stock pot full. But if you're just doing this for an evening meal and it's just two people or three people, scale it it's down. It's okay with the skillet. It's okay yeah. with the skillet, yeah. And you, it's a super great dish got. to freeze. Now, I have started venturing into, because you know how much I love crock pots, putting mm -hmm. this into a crock pot and just letting it do its thing. Even though I like to watch it on a Saturday, I just yeah. find that I don't have that pocket of time. And that's great too, because you know the only um, caveat to that, and I've done that as well, is, is I do cook down um, uh, kind of what I call the, the, the onion and pepper mash, right? You cook mm -hmm. that down and get it nice and then you can add all of your ingredients into the into the crock pot. Because what do you do all day on a Saturday anyway, right? You just let it sit there and simmer and stew, let that flavor fill, the, or the smell fill the house, and, and it becomes more flavorful. Actually, I think chili, um, like some soups, tastes better the second day. Yep, mm -hmm. I, so, agree. Um, I agree, I agree. A little marinade. Exactly. All right, we've got about yes. uh, two and a half oh, minutes sure. here, Doc. Let's do this. All right, so we're gonna throw in peppers, uh, hot peppers. We've got some jalapenos, some serrano, poblano, and habanero. Whoa! And, you do not uh, discriminate at all. Fire in the hole, everybody. This and then, is crazy. Uh, if you want to add in some tomatoes, I'm a sure. tomato guy. This one right here? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I've got one that has, um, that's uh, just plain diced tomatoes. And the other has some uh, green chilies in there as well. We'll throw oh, some yeah. of that in there. Wow. You like it hot. I like, like it a little hot. spice. A little bit. But, you know, some of that mm -hmm. cooks out. And if you 
if you um, trim the pepper or clean the pepper, take the seeds and the membranes out, it's not as hot. So if you like it hotter, you just chop the whole thing. If you like it a little less hot, you clean the and pepper. just with that flavor. Exactly. And it comes with a warning. It comes with a warning. A little tomato sauce. <laughs> tomato sauce right here, okay. How much would this make, your recipe right here? So, you know, this recipe, if we used all of these ingredients, it would make uh, probably enough for about 12, 15 people. Wow. Um, and we'll add in some beans. beans. I do, uh, yeah, let's, do the, beans. <laughs> let's do the kidney beans. I like the yeah. light red ones. Just, um, I think the dark red just personally are a little tough. So I have a question. Yes. I've seen recipes where you put them in early, then I've seen recipes where you put them in at the end. Mm -hmm. what, what's the? So I usually cook down the peppers and the onions, uh, the tomato sauce, and um, put in the spices and get that stewing, and then um, I add in the meat and the beans after all of that flavor is developed. Mm -hmm. For sake of today, we're just kind of you know combining the ingredients. Um, we got some chili beans um, and some. How about the chili These, beans and the? Chili those beans. are pentos. Those are pentos. <laughs> and while you put the pentos in, I will put in my capacity here, Doc. I know my secret <laughs> spice mix here. The secret spice mix. Secret spice mix. Um, and you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and. Uh, well, let's add in these Hungarian peppers. Hungarian okay. peppers. The Hungarian wax peppers. They are a little bit of heat, more flavor, and uh, we can add in that meat. Okay. We have about hey. 30 seconds yep. left. That's so while this goes we'll in, it's this nice in. and lean. There wasn't a whole lot of right. and fat and drippings. And that's the reason for using sirloin, right? Because mm -hmm. you want that that unctuousness you get from the fat, but you don't get so much fat that it makes it really unhealthy. Sure. And if uh, that's really uh, just it, do you it just to it. Uh, stir this around and let what it What would you simmer. serve it with, Doc? You know, I just serve it in a bowl with some uh, uh, cheese on top, maybe a little sour cream. If you don't like the heat, you can cut that heat with sour cream and cheese. Mm. Uh, some people like rice on the bottom. And again, you get into that whole debate of, I don't want any rice in my chili. Just, so, how so, just come hungry like right it. now. That's Doc, right. thanks so much. Come Great, on out and enjoy you. the 10th annual Saute and Sizzle Richmond Men Are Cooking event this Saturday, November 5th at Richmond International Raceway. The event starts at 7.08 p.m. I asked that's because that was the year that the sorority was incorporated. The chef tasting begins at 7.30 p.m. For all the information, we'll have a link on our site later today, wtbr.com slash vt.